here we are, uh, like 5.30 at night. Got my flashlight. I want to show you guys something. And I want you to, uh, you know, I get some light here. I want you to realize that uh, one of the channels that says he got shocked in the head with an electric fence, I have a uh, over half a joule shocker intermittent charger on my fence, which means that it has time to charge up and hit hard. Uh, if you're gonna get shocked and it's gonna hurt, like put you on the ground hurt, you're gonna have to wear no shoes. Um, it's not, it's not like people, people think. Uh, so let me reverse the camera here and I'm gonna touch my electric fence and I'll show you, I'm actually trying to fix it right now because I appear to have caught a stake of some kind in my fence when I was, when I was transporting it. But uh, I'm gonna show you right now, I'm actually gonna touch my electric fence and, uh, like I said, half a joule, that's, uh, I mean, they, I think they sell up to one, one joule chargers. So half a joule is pretty freaking strong. I think it's good for 60 or 80 miles of, uh, I think two strands. So high tensile. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to touch the fence. I am not going to pee on it though. That's a good way to get you uh, really hurt good, uh, especially if your uh, feet are grounded. So here we go flip it around all right so this thing here is my stake i'm talking about and you can hear it snapping you see that snapping across the line there so i was trying to move this stake but you know i was i was kind of like uh do i really want to do this because i've been shocked in the naughty parts before by this fence stepping over it and that's not pleasant but it's a real quick shock so uh let's see if i can grab this thing here we go. Look at that. See that? It's currently on and I'm touching it. Holy God. All right, so really, uh, let's do this. So you can see my hand is jumping. I mean, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely a shock that, uh, you know, you feel, but the fact that it's making me jump and I'm not grounded means that this is way stronger to something that is grounded. And you can see the, in, the involuntary muscle spasms. So it's fine to touch an electric fence as long as you're not freaking grounded. And the fact that he's like, I got shocked in the head and it was the worst thing ever. Come on, grow the hell up, dude. And also, I understand you're trying to create like clickbait and stuff like that, but come on, an electric fence ain't shit, especially if it's an intermittent charger. You know, it's makes the whole arm jump, but it ain't anything serious. You know, obviously, if you have a pacemaker or something, this isn't something you should do or get anywhere near it. But everything is involuntarily jumping. And uh, the thing about it is I had to remove this because uh, a stake like this touching the fence to the ground directly reduces the fence's effectiveness. So it's uh, not good to have. I don't, I'm not even sure where this came from. Uh, the old man who lived here before, he was kind of, I don't know. He kind of just threw his garbage all around the property. It wasn't very, uh, you know, very 50s, 40s mindset, right? Just throw all your crap out in the woods. Um, so that's probably where it came from, in the woods over there somewhere. Um, yeah, so I'm not dead. I feel fine. My heart isn't doing anything funny other than the normal palpitations and the pain, you know? <laughs> I'm, kid I'm kidding. Uh, so, uh, I, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. It, I try to be completely honest and not try to do any of the clickbait garbage. Um, I don't, I don't really believe that doing that kind of stuff benefits anybody. Um, especially when the internet and YouTube is so full of just utter trash, you know, trash, trash for views, really. Um, I don't know. So 
I want to give a caveat here. If you have problems with your heart, if you have problems with any part of you, uh, and that, that, you know, if, if you're old, don't freaking do this. Don't touch an electric fence, but someone in their thirties like me or whatever, it's not going to kill you. You know, it's, I don't, I don't know. Uh, with that said, don't touch an electric fence. If you're not sure that it's electric and, uh, don't touch an electric fence in your bare foot and certainly don't pee on an electric fence because it goes right in. Not pleasant. Have a good day.